I'm Jennifer Peace from Smart Fun DIY and I'm here with Matthew and we're going to be sharing a really cool project you can do with your kids this summer to help them to read more. We're transitioning from elementary school to middle school so if you've got a kid that's in that transition or any kid that's on summer break one of the things that can happen is it's called the summer slide. It means that they lose some of the skills that they got in school so one of the best ways to keep that up is with reading and so Matthew tell us what you're going to be doing this summer to keep your reading skills up. So I'm going to be reading the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. I finished with the first two books, The Mining Thief and The Sea of Monsters, and I'm reading The Titan's Christian. So to celebrate his love of reading and to show off all of his books, we're going to be creating a DIY library wall on this empty wall here in Matthew's room. So we are going to be painting stripes and colors on my blank wall right here. I chose four colors so I can do four stripes on this blank wall. So I chose one of the colors is orange because my blanket, of course, is orange. It goes with my room. And then I picked yellow because that's my favorite color. And then I picked two different blues, but one's lighter and one's darker. So then it like kind of matches and goes down. Now this is a project that you can do by yourself or you can get your kids involved. So because Matthew's 12, he's going to be doing the bulk of the work on this DIY project. First things first, have your kids spackle any holes that are in the wall. Then you're gonna mark the distance between each of your stripes on the wall. Now you can use masking tape for between the stripes. So that's what we did here. We just lined them up with the marks that we made and we put the masking tape above and below the marks on every other stripe. And then you'll have to paint the other stripes in a second round. Pour your paint into a tray. You can use a paper towel to wipe out any excess. And then load up those rollers really, really well. You might need two coats of paint if you're painting a bold color on top of white like we did here. Next, you wanna measure your wall and make sure that your frame shelves fit. Ours were a little bit too long. So I measured what we needed to cut off, marked it, used a square to put a straight line, and then used a miter saw to cut off the excess. The masking tape added a second set of masking tape for that second set of stripes and use a paintbrush to cut in on those edges where the wall joined other walls. Went ahead and rollered two layers of paint, two coats of paint on those striped edges and removed the tape. You might need to touch up those areas where the tape was because the paint might have bled underneath so just use a small little paintbrush like this. Once the paint is fully dry, you can go ahead and start adding your shelves. So put the shelves up against the wall and use a level to make sure it's level. Then mark the holes. Now if you're mounting them into drywall like I'm doing, you're going to want to use drywall anchors. That's why we're mounting the holes and not drilling it in right away. So put those anchors in and then you can attach the shelves to the wall with screws. If you're using frame shelves that have little stickers, they might have little stickers that cover up those holes where the screws are visible. So you'll definitely want to make sure that you put those on. Continue to repeat this at every single stripe. So we put our shelves at the seams of the stripes. That way I didn't have to touch up all the paint on the stripes, just on the area where it wrapped around the wall. So you continue adding those anchors in. You can get these drywall anchors at any hardware store and then putting the shelves up all the way up to the top of the wall. Now, once that is totally complete, this is what it's gonna look like. It's super fun and colorful. You can do this for any color of walls that your kids want. And then have your kid decorate with his favorite books or you know little knickknacks and things to make it custom and make it theirs. So we wrap those stripes around the wall you can see here and it makes a really fun book wall that now my son loves to read in front of. I'd love to hear how you are gonna be making this project. And if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button here at the bottom of the video. That way you can get notified every time we have another smart, fun DIY idea like this.